Hello gamers, this is Flaming Gaming 7 and welcome back to another episode of Mario plus Rabbit Sparks. Hope today we're hopping right into it. We're gonna talk to Augie and then we are going to go to the new planet. Hey, don't you know that I'm behind you 100 percent in this braha bra fight against Cursa. <laughs> right after the six-day weekend is over, I really need some Augie time to decompress. I mean, come on, his island was under siege and stuff. That's stressful stuff. Give the guy some space. What is going on over there? Oh my gosh. Alright, whatever. Let's just get into the spaceship. WM Art. Ooh, first look at the world map. Or rather, world's map. So we're at Beacon Beach now, and there's pristine peaks. Levels level 8 through 15. What's our team like now? Um, I don't know. We'll have to figure out another time. <laughs> For now, let's head over to Pristine Peaks. This is so exciting, oh my gosh! What does Fawn do? Oh. Where ice caves rise with danger offer little shelter from treacherous climbs through steep mountain cliffs. Also, fungi pots are difficult to clean and a major cause of serious burn injuries. Tell him, Jeannie. Well, I know who I'm not going to add as my plus one for their annual Grandma Rail Rider Snowboard Festival. <laughs> Tell her, Repo. <laughs> whose side am I on? I'm on my side, that's whose side I'm on. I'm on the side of chaos. That's all that matters to me. Look at this place. Look at this place, Darkness Tentacles. I don't know, it looks pretty cool. It's weird. Every once in a while, they'll say something slightly differently than what the text says. What? In the voicing, she said, uh, this misery inducing blizzard. But in the text, it says, of this blizzard which induces misery on everyone it touches. It's not a big deal, it's just really weird. <gasps> Whoa, polar bear swam! Where's the lake? Private Mario. Interesting. I say we go check out that tree. Barrel saunas. <laughs> oh my gosh, Bebo. Yeah, I love you, Beepo. You, you're Beepo, aren't you? If you give the tree a good shake, yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know how to shake a tree. Ah, <gasps> it's a spark. Whoa, I like you. You're so purple. Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay. Are you the spark of destruction? Did you just hug high that block? <gasps> Decibel. Oh, I guess you're like a sound spark. Hurrah, thank goodness you found me. My name's Decibel. Yes, yes, we can hear you just fine, so you know. Ha, sorry. Is it okay if I come with you? I'm not much good in a fight, but I can do other stuff. I have sonic power strong enough to move heavy objects, even destroy things sometimes. I think we- I want this guy on our team. I love him. What? <laughs> oh! Oh! 
<gasps> is that what I think it is? Is that this game's equivalent to a Smasher from the last game? I love fighting Smashers so much. It's such an interesting experience. Or I could just punch it. Beepo Power Wave. The wave Beepo Power activates and destroys elements around our heroes. Press ZR to use it. So, is that spark like alive? I guess it's like alive within Beepo. I don't know how to feel about that. And look, by the way, what's our like average hero level right about now? It's eight, basically nine. Cool. I know that there's a quest I need to do, but I really want to fight this guy. I really want to fight him, and I want to do the skill tree. I I think I'm finally gonna do it. I I we're like, <laughs> what episode is this? Seven? Like seven episodes in, and I'm finally gonna open the skill tree. It's, it feels so unreal saying that, but I'm gonna do it. Um, for this battle, first let's check out the battlefield. We've got just four of these guys. They are squashers. Leaps high into the air in order to land upon its rivals with a nasty stomp attack. It's weak to ooze, but resistant to sh uh, sh um, shock. Shock. I can't word. Ally need not needed to jump damages opponents by stomping on them. So does it have like a team jump, but with less team? That's its only form of attack. Okay. And they have decent movement. No, wait. Oh, no, I was misseeing it. Okay, okay, it's not actually that good. Is it? I'm a little confused, actually. I'm not gonna lie. There's, like, two different circles. And I can't say I understand. Maybe from where it's currently at, that's where it's able to jump and stomp. Oh, yeah, and then... Oh, so, yeah, they do have a lot of movement. And they can jump upwards by themselves. Okay, that's actually really worrying. Anyway... Let's actually do this. Let's upgrade our freaking skill tree. First, I'm just, I'm, I can do this. I can do this. I'm just going to get our team ready before I forget, like, what the battle conditions are like. But I swear I will do the skill tree. I swear. Um, I don't actually think it said they chase you when you attack them, which is how smashers work. But squashers seem to be different. They will not chase you after attacking them. In that case, let's just get edge. Um, Ouija, and Rabbit Peach. There we go. And they're all, at, they're all at full health, too. Why did I press B? I wanted to go to the Sparks page, and then the Skill Tree. So why am I pressing P? It's okay. I got this, gamers. I got this. Uh, I might just keep you guys with these, actually. I kind I really like Ooze, though, but... Mm, I like that. I like this. We're keeping this. Okay. It's time! We're gonna go here. Wait, actually, we have a new weapon skin. I know I keep getting distracted, but I don't remember which weapon it was for. Was it Mario's? It's not, surprisingly enough. It's Rabbit Luigi's. Vintage Disruptor. The Beacon Beach Tourism Board gave you this for restoring their mellow beach vibes by besting a giant Goomba. I don't remember doing that, but sure. Okay. Anyway, for super duper real this time, we're gonna check out the skill tree. And we're gonna actually do something. Oh my gosh. What do we want to get? Glide booze. Oh wait, yeah, no, that's all that is. Plus one second, that's good. Extra dash is really good. Dash increments movement? Dashing a target increases area of movement? Oh, that's very interesting. That is very, very interesting. Critical dash. Starting from the first dash, each following dash to 20% more damage. Oh, yeah, we can get up to four total dashes. Oh, that could be really good. Cha nope, nope, wrong button. Cha okay, this one, critical hit chance up, weapon range up. That could be good. Blade halo increase. <gasps> I want that. I really want that. I think we've got it. It's four points, though. Chain boost. Starting from the first hit, each hit, hit deals one four. 5%, deals 5% more damage. That's good, but I don't want it just yet. And what is that to the right? Oh my gosh. Do we unlock like a second technique? A second weapon? Um, Stormblade damage. 
storm blade range additional storm blade charge that's hype and mountains and storm blade activated the storm blade is active she takes less damage ooh okay that's really good and did we check over the left um heal sponge increases the effect of healing if we chill out after winning a battle, she gets healed. I like that a lot. That's going to save us a lot of money. I think we need HP to chill out for everyone. And extra health is always good, but I don't think... I think movement is like a lot of interesting things around movement. And I don't care about what's strategically the best. I just want to have some fun. But I do... I, HP chill out is really good. I think we should get HP chill out. Refund. So I can refund it just like that. That's good. That allows for a lot of customization. We could definitely change out our skill tree for each individual battle, just for, for to suit the battle better. I'm not going to do that. That would not be fun. Okay, I was a little confused for a second. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. It's just because... Okay, okay, no, no, no. I, I just pressed the A button and then I couldn't move. I was very confused. Okay, ignore me. Ignore me having zero brain cells. And then we don't have enough m points for some of these. Dash increments, movement, critical dash. Blade Halo. I really want Blade Halo increase. I'm not going to lie. Okay. I think we're going to take away this for now. And we're going to get Blade Halo increase. I really like that. Got to admit, Mountain Stance is pretty good, but we're not going for it just yet. Okay. That's pretty good. That's the ZR button. <laughs> okay. That's just one character out of seven. We have to do this for all seven characters. Um... Team jump, extra dash, and extra dash when performing a team jump. Huh. Increases the area of movement after landing from a team jump. Extra team jump! Yeah, I was about to say, I wonder if Luigi's gonna have that ability in this game. Oh, and then plus movement range. That's not, that's not bad. Oh, an extra team jump. I, I gotta have it. I gotta have extra team jump. HP chill out, we'll get that if we don't have any better options. Critical hit, weapon range, damage drop off. Decreases the damage drop off. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's really good. Previous skill needed, though. I need to. Oh, I gotta get critical hit damage up. I'm not a fond of upgrading something that's just based on luck. Steely stare damage, cooldown, ghost bullet, projectile passes through any obstacle. Wait, does it not do that already? Wait, it did that in the last game. I, th I thought that's just how Steely Stare and Hero Sight worked in general. Um, well, that's really good to know that in this game, if you're using Hero Sight or whatever, your line of sight can be blocked. I did not know that. I absolutely want Ghost Bullet. Additional Steely Stare charge. Oh my gosh, it's so expensive. So expensive to get additional Steely Stare Charge, but I really want it. I really, really want it. I, like, really want it. What do I want more? want more? Extra Team Jump? No, wait, I can't even... If I have to have Ghost Bullet to get additional Steely Stare Charge anyway. So, it's either... I refund this. Ugh. I think I'll just wait to get the additional charge next time we edit the Steel Tree, which means I'll just keep everyone's skill... I'll just I'll just keep Luigi's skills where they are for now to save on points. Health, chill. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's health things are the same. Glide boost, healing jump. Ooh, land. That's good. Peach had this ability in the last game, but it looks like Rabbit Peach has it in this game. Maybe Peach also has it. I don't know. Extra dash is always good. Healing jump up. I like that. I really like the idea of a healing jump. I will probably be getting that. Critical hit chance. Weapon range, final hit, increases the damage to the third rocket, okay, and life train, weapon, bruh, what, weapon defeat, oh, that's good, we Rabbit Peach recovers 20% of her health if the target of a triple troll attack is defeated, oh my gosh, you know I'm getting that, we don't even have to ha have a prior skill or anything, Mega heal increases the amount of health points. Uh, she heals, heal range, heal cooldown. Emergency heal is super effective on heroes with less than thirty percent of their health. Oh, I want that. I really want that. Can I get that? 
Oh, I can't. I don't have enough points once again. Okay, okay. I think we'll just not... No, wait. If we still have that, can we still get the healing jump? We can get the healing jump. Okay, good. All right, I think this is pretty good. We've got healing jump, life trade, and... Wait, where's my cursor? There it is. And do more healing. Uh, Yeah, just do more healing. All right. That actually took longer than I thought to catch my sister skill trees. I think I will stick with just Edge, Luigi, and Rabbit Peach for now since I'm bringing them into the battle. But I swear, the rest of you guys, I will edit your skill trees next time I do battles with you guys. I just don't want to spend too long on the skill tree thing. Okay, here we go. Let's just get into this. No, I'm trying to vault. There we go. I really want to do that. Look at that. And he's not going to chase me. That's weird. I, I'm so used to Smashers chasing me. It's weird having these guys not chase me. And did I get Luigi the extra team jump? I did. Oh, I want to do something fun with that. I don't know what, but I got to do something fun with it. All right, take you out. Oh, wait, I'm on edge. I thought I was moving Luigi there. I'm so stupid. Come on, you can do this. There we go. Wait, I shouldn't even be moving Luigi all the way over here because he's going to do less damage. No, no, no. I was going to move him down there to get, like, a double team jump because that's fun. But no, that's stupid because he's going to do less damage if he's closer. Yeah, I was worried that would be the case. Um, So I've completely screwed up is what I'm hearing. I can still get you. I mean, if we're just ignoring the guy who's right here. I mean, I can dash him. Is my line of sight going to be blocked? It is. Dang it. Okay, I've really fudged this one up. There we go. That's something. That's that's really cool. I love Luigi having like the bow and arrow. Oh, it's so cool. Can I like save Luigi somehow? Um, I should have upped everyone's damage. I'm I'm not gonna do it just so I can save Luigi. I think I'm gonna do this. And then I'm going to grab Luigi, and I'm going to activate Steely Stare. No offense, but I'm, I've seen that cutscene a lot. And it's really cool, but I don't know if the people want it. Oh, who cares? I want to see it. I shouldn't be skipping it just because of what the people want. Who cares about making good content anyway? I do. <laughs> I do. Tell me if I'm not making good... Tell me if I'm not making good, good content. Then I might switch my content. Pa! He just got sniped in the air! Okay, I'm slowing this down. There's a lot happening. Um, they really do just jump in the air. Oh, wow. And they can jump somewhere else after stomping. Oh, gosh. I think they, they're they not actually that tough, so I should be able to take them out relatively easy. Wait. Note to self. Think these things through in the future. It's fine. Look at them. Look at look at those guys. Did you see his chubby little face? Oh my gosh, they're kind of adorable. I'm not gonna lie, they're kind of adorable. But I do still have to murder them. That's that's how the world works, and he's still fine. He's still fine. Ugh. Okay. That can't hit, I'm assuming. Yep. So I think we're gonna move Lu Luigi's gonna go over here. And then snipe you. Well, it's not much of a snipe. I'm right here. And then... I didn't think this one through, did I? That's not hitting. Um, It's fine. If we activate Stormblade, then maybe it'll work. Hopefully. I don't know. Does Stormblade go through obstacles? I mean, we're about to find out. As we have just learned from looking at the skill tree, I don't think things go through obstacles. Okay, that's got to hit, though. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. He's still... Mm, more health than I thought. There we go. Took longer than it should have, but we won in the end. Her sword's so big when she throws it. <laughs> it's ridiculous. There we go. There we go. That was a fun little expedition there. Ex 
XB, XB, I don't know what I'm saying. New Spark Max level unlocked. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. We got a skill prism. Oh, heck yeah. Just to get skill prisms, I really want to do battles. Like, we should battle anyone we see, just the skill prisms. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know how to do the wave power. I heard that sparks the special abilities. Maybe bridge repair is one? Yep. I was expecting a cool shriek or something. I love how Edge, like, holds him, and it's just... Oh, this is funny. I like this a lot. I like this a lot. Let's get a... This might be, like, the thumbnail or something. You never know. Let's get, like, a... There we go. If I want to make that the thumbnail, then there's some good images for future me. I can't move it while we're... I can't use it while we're running. That's so boring. He doesn't even make any sound. He does make a sound, but it's super quiet. You're down there. Hello. I can't fall down. I have to... I have to go all the way around, because, you know, of course I do. Why would I not have to go all the way around? Just, you know, look at us go. Love the way they run. It's so cool. Memory. Okay, then. <laughs> the path to the mask mountain. New memory. Okay, um, dude, yes, you. You're probably talking about these blocks. Oh, there's a weird smell coming from behind this barrier. Can't be anything good. Ah! Ah! Coins. Ooh, Dark Mist at the foot of the mountain. We have to be level 9 for this battle. We don't have to be, we're just recommended to be. But hey, we just got to level 9, so let's do it. Are we gonna, the question is, are we going to switch up our team, or are we going to keep our team? If we switch up our team, then I have to change their skill tree stuff. So, I don't know, it depends on... Ooh, wow, okay. Destroy Dark Mist eyes. Then we want people with lots of range, which obviously means Luigi. If anything, I might just keep this team, actually. I mean, yeah, that's a pretty good-looking team to me. I think we're just gonna dash you. That doesn't reach? You, you. Ah, ah! I hate everything, and I'm going to go explode. I'm, like, literally restarting that. I'm literally- I don't- I don't usually restart battles like that. But I'm a salty little man. And, like, if it's at the beginning of a battle... And I just make a dumb mistake like that. It's not that big of a deal to restart. I don't think I've lost that much honor as a gamer. That's what I'm talking about. On the harder difficulties, I wonder how they like make these battles harder. Because there's not really any enemies or anything. Doesn't look like we'll be able to hit multiple with that. Is there any like super specific angle? That... We could hit the Bob bomb and the Dark Miss Eye, but I don't want to do that. <laughs> I really don't want to do that. Can we get someone else up here? Let's get Edge to team jump off Rabbit Peach. There we go. There we go. Now we should just be able to. Yep! I'll take two for one. That's not half bad. They just disappeared weirdly. That was weird. Okay, Luigi. I'm... Are there any Dark Miss Eyes over here? Okay, there's not. They're all in the direction we're going. That's good. We're gonna get, get a team jump over here. Oh, yeah, she's got the healing thing. Wait, I didn't think that went through. Sometimes ordering the team jumps is more difficult than you would think, okay? I think I'm just gonna... I just want to snipe... Um, I kind of want to snipe the one up there, can I? I can't. What if I go over here? Then can I snipe him? Uh, no, I'm too far away. Yeah, it's either... If I'm too far away, then I just... He's just too far away. But if I'm too close, then our sight gets blocked. So... Maybe there's, like, a perfect angle at which we can hit it. Oh, there is. Wow. I love this game. I love just, like, getting these precise angles. This is so fun. I'm also going to activate Steely Stare just so the guys behind us aren't that much of a pain. Like, I'm, we, I've noticed that destroying Dark Messiah battles are relatively easy, and I might be eating those words at some point. Let's hope not. Um, and I say with your, your shot... You just shoot that guy. Pretty good to me. I think we're done here. 
Looks like it. Luigi, why are you using your stilly stare on a ball bomb? I mean, it's better than getting blown up by it. It's so weird only having one. What are you? I'm used to the first game where it'll, like, warn you when a new enemy is... Oh my gosh, what? We already have s scopers? Whatever they're called. There's another snipe-type enemy? I just assumed they were stooges. I knew there were enemies, I just assumed they were stooges. I should have checked. I, the first game, like, makes it very clear when there's a new enemy. So these are scopers. Highly mobile... Oh, I guess they're just better scopers. Yeah, I forgot. Enemies look different depending on the planet you're on. It was like that in the first game, except they were different depending on what world you're in. And yeah, they're tougher and they look different uh, in another planet, which does make sense. Weak to burn and resistant to frostbite. Honey mobile with a long range two shot attack. And apparently you can freaking climb. I mean, we've only got four left, so I don't think we need to worry about them too much. I think Luigi can just take care of the one back there. Yeah, 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 I know, I know what I'm doing here. I, yeah, yeah, there's a very specific order in which I want to do this. We get Edge over here. And she can smack both of you. Somehow not impaling Luigi. We're slicing him up. And then Rapid Peach can hop over here. It shows you when you, oh wait. No, never mind. <laughs> and now we can just shoot you. And isn't that... Did we get the thing that heals Rabbit Peach when she takes care of an enemy? I don't know if it counts with those enemies. And again, I don't even remember if we got the uh, ability. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> we'll check another time. For now, I think that was a pretty good performance. We've got a planet coin. From Starbits. That's it. There's... Nothing uh, behind the tentacle behind the, besides the star bits. Oh well. It's good that the darkness here is gone, but I worry that this blizzard will do even more harm. This is fun. Don't mind me. I'm just going to run around and just spam the Beepo button. You can't hide. Uh, you can't Beepo while you're running. I forgot. Dang it. Stupid Beepo. Be better. But also, running is hard because I, I have to put my index finger in this really weird position. I can't. Can I run with my thumb? No. I need my, I need my, I need my thumb to use the right joystick. I need my index finger. That's the Y button. I was pressing the Y button to like demonstrate like if I'm holding the Y button while dashing, then I can use like the joint of my thumb to move the right joystick. <laughs> oh, I have no idea what I'm saying anymore. I mean, I do, you probably don't though. How do we get over there? Coins, yay, I like coins. Um, I don't know how we're supposed to get over to that area, but oh my gosh, I bonked again. Okay, note to self, we can break these things to get coins. Uh, we can go this way, though. That's what I was trying to say. We can go this way. There's coins over there, too. Uh, climb down. What is down here? I... Okay, we can lower that. That's good, but it's probably just a shortcut, so I'm not gonna go down there. So, wait. Uh, no, we're going over here. There we go. We're going this way. Hello, main. Is this the main quest? No, no, main quest is Cold Mouth of the Mountain. But this is still something we do seem to be required to do, so let's get into it. And I'm pretty sure we're going to have to swap out our team for this battle, which means we have to do more skill tree upgrades. Whoa. It's a reach area. We've got a frostbite, Tony the Tiger. Okay, I didn't know they made, I mean, they're frosted flakes. They're frosted flakes, and he's a, a, a Tony the Tiger. It makes sense, because we're in the frosty area. It makes so much sense. Oh my gosh, Cairo, bowl, but freeze guy, please win this battle. You heroes are my only way of getting, are my only way out of here. I can't word. Deep freezes will freeze you in your track with their blizzard burst technique. When defeated, they'll set off a frozen explosion. Sort of a no-win situation. Anyhow, just get to the end of the battlefield quickly. 
I like that there's no turn count or anything. Like, I'm pretty sure I briefly started to say this earlier, or maybe in the previous episode, and got interrupted. But, there's no, like, you did an A-plus in this battle, you got a B in this battle for doing it in X amount of turns. Because it's, like, really hard to get A ranks in battles, and it's nice not to have to worry about that. <laughs> because while I'm not gonna make myself get A rank in every battle in Kingdom Battle, I mean, I didn't. You know that, you watched it, right? If you didn't, I'm gonna cry. Anyway... I'm thinking Luigi's actually a good option here, but we do need to heal him if we want to use Luigi. Luigi's always good for reach areas because he's got a lot of movement capability. Speaking of which, don't we have enough skill points now to get the thing we wanted for Luigi? Uh, skill tree, customize, yeah, we got four. Pretty sure what we wanted was the extra Steely Stair Charge. Ah, oh, yes, that's what I'm talking about. Who do we want on our team for this? Um, I think Mario would be good. And Rabbit Peach, because she's a healer? That's not who I meant to switch out. Oh my gosh! I can do this. There we go. I don't know, I feel like we need to have at least one powerhouse. Because of all the, um... The Frostbite guys. So I think Luigi, Rabbit Peach, and Rabbit Mario. I think this is a really good team. And then we'll heal them. And the skill tree, skill tree, skill tree, and sparks. I'm gonna do sparks first. Um, actually, there are, we're at a point where pretty much everyone has their own spark. Uh, we'll just give you the, um, that guy. Rabbit Luigi has no one, because, <laughs> I'm sorry, but Rabbit Luigi's not useful. Don't tell him I said it. I love him. I love him so much. But he's not that useful. Anyway, um, ra we'll save Rabbit Mario for last. Wait. Wait, I already did Rabbit Peach. Okay, well, we're doing Rabbit Mario now. We saved him for last. All right, health, same like everyone else. Movement range up, extra dash, area dash. Yeah, I remember that. Range incre increase, critical hit chance up, weapon damage up, punch frenzy. That, oh, previous skill is needed. No, not what I meant, not what I wanted. Um, I can do this, wait. I was trying to quickly just get this. There we go. No, I can't do anything. Okay. Punch Frenzy. I just really wanted Punch Frenzy. And no li- Yeah, I really want no limits. I want to do away, oh, do away with my limits. Ugh! I need two more skill points for that. I'd definitely rather have Punch Frenzy than no limits. And plus more weapon damage. That's always good. Um, what else is there? Counter blow range? I'm not sure how useful that'll be, to be honest. I- Hmm... I don't know. Cooldown? Additional charge? That sounds pretty good. Payback? Counterattack returns 50% of damage taken. Ooh. Yeah, it does additional damage. Okay, okay, I like that. Hmm. I'm not sure. I think we'll just leave it as it is for now. I know we have two skill points. I mean, I'll buy this temporarily. I'll refund it later. I think I'll do it for Rabbit Peach 2. I'll just buy HP Chill Out for now, but I'll probably change them out for something better another time. And do you... And I don't know why I thought to check for weapon skins. Why would she have any new weapon skins? We already know she doesn't have any new weapon skins. Okay, here we go, starting the battle. So, I don't think we have much choice except to charge forward. Um, what? Kind of panic there, that's okay. I kind of want to get this frosted Tony the Tiger into like a pincer attack. If we could attack him from here, that might be nice. It's a big if though. Very big if. I don't want to attack from here because then we're not far enough away. Let's go over here. I like this idea a lot. Yeah, yeah we have a lot of options here. I think this is the best one just because we're so far away. But how much is that even upping the damage we're doing? By a lot. It's upping it by a lot. Okay. I think we're just going to go all out on uh, that Frosted Tony Tiger turn one. 
I'm trying to say that five times fast. <laughs> there is a bob on there, and I really don't want that bomb to do like anything. So, uh, I don't like that. We're having Mario. Hmm. We're not gonna worry about the bob bomb just yet. We're not gonna worry about him. And then we're gonna activate Steely Stare. Wait, we can't hit this guy, right? I only just. No, wait, we can just move forward if we need to. But yeah, we can hit him anyway. Oh my gosh, we're doing so much damage. And we have two Steely Stare charges, I think, now. Wait, he's not moving? I guess they don't have that ability. Uh, unleashes powerful area attacks onto its closest opponents, can deal frostbite damage thanks to his technique. Upon defeat, will less lose to final frostbite, frostbite infused area attack. Technique inflicts, inflicts damage on the frostbite effect on all targets within its area of effect. Ugh! That's a decent bit of range, actually. Ugh, we want to stay far away from this guy. These guys, we need to take deep freeze. They're, okay, they're deep freezes. They're, they're, their official name is deep freeze. I remember her, uh, the, uh, the spark calling them something weird. It's kind of weird, because they're literally just a retexture of the wild claw, but they have a totally different name. Okay, well, it's a little more than a retexture of the wild claw. I think... I don't think I want to start punching that guy. I do not see that going well, to be honest. Oh, wait, crap, he doesn't have a dash. Crap, um... That's fine. I not a dash. A, no, wait, yes, a dash. Okay, I just really wanted to take care of this bomb. Uh... Ah, get rid of it! <laughs> okay. There's another bob bomb over here. Um, I'm gonna shoot this bob bomb. Uh, that bob bomb. That bob. This bob bomb. Bob bomb. Bob bomb. Bob bomb. Bob bomb. Bomb bomb. Bomb bomb. Bomb bomb. Bomb bomb. Bombs. Okay. Everything's fine. Another wild claw over there. Okay. We're gonna take out the dukes. We're gonna get that guy. Wait, that's not gonna hurt us, right? Crap, that might hurt us. Phew, just barely. And then we're gonna grab Rabbit Peach. And she's gonna attack you. Okay. Would it lose even hit anyone? I, wouldn't, I wasn't gonna use it anyway, but I wanted to see if it would hit anyone. Okay. I'm <clears throat> done for this turn. We just got a lot of ball bombs and a lot of frosted Tony the Tigers. Is he gonna use his technique? Okay, no. Are you going to? Phew! Oh gosh, I. Ugh, I don't like this. I don't like anything that's happening here. I want to make sure that next turn I'll be able to get into that pipe. Why would... Oh, that... Okay, the explosion radius is when he gets defeated, and that does not hit the other two. But he's not even going to get defeated unless it critted, which, as you can see, by the fact that he's still alive, it did not crit. Maybe a dash could... What happens if I defeat him with a dash? Let's find out! Phew. Okay, we're fine. I'm gonna grab this bob bomb. No, I don't want to team jump. I want to. There we go. And okay, I know this went horribly the last time we did it, but it's gonna go better this time because we're not gonna just get spam attacked. I wonder if that locked portion on the skill tree. Has some kind of upgrade that gives us an, gives us another action point. That would be cool. Oh my gosh, the five punches! Oh my gosh, that feels so good just to watch. And then we'll attack. Him. Well, wh where do we want to be be positioned? Wait, crap! When he gets defeated, he's gonna blow up Rabbit Mario. I didn't think that one through. <laughs> crap. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a little too late now. 
Uh, I think that's all for this turn. Poor Rabbit Mario is about to get decimated when he uses that counterattack. Did we get the multiple counterattack charge thingy? Ow. I didn't actually do that much damage. Rabbit Mario with so much health. Uh, what the heck? He used both his technique and his attack. Oh, the guy's not even- Oh, he's still- Oh my gosh, I've never been so happy to see an enemy survive. I've never been so happy. How much health do you have? Like, literally one. 42. That's the same thing. Um, I'm frozen. I can't move. I know in the last game, there was an ability you can unlock that when you team jumped off someone, they would become... Like, their effect would be removed. I didn't see that on the skill tree, but let's find out if it's just a latent ability we have. It is not. He's still frozen. Actually, I kind of want to get with it. Ugh. I kind of panicked. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do if I wanted to get him with the healing thing or dash the bob bomb, and I just ended up just fudging that up. Now I can't. I didn't heal him, and I can't cut that bob bomb. Um, but no, I can get this bob bomb. Assuming that that thing has friendly fire. Sorry, Rabbit Mario. Wait, what? Ah, friendly fire isn't a thing for that. Okay. I could use ooze on that ball bomb. It's got Luigi over here. He needs to be here sooner or later. I want to get that bear cat. Not bear cat. That's like a totally... That's not correct at all. It's like, Luigi needs to be far away to do a lot of damage, but also he needs to be close so that he can move and do team jumps and stuff. I think we're just gonna blow up that ball bomb. It will actually damage uh, Frosted Tony over there. That's good. I could hit Frosted Tony, but I'd much rather hit the ball bomb. Ball bomb is an immediate threat, Frosted Tony is not. Also, I just realized something. If I get a team jump off over here, I could, like, win. Maybe? I don't know. There's this big wall here that's probably preventing that. Yeah. We could do a team jump here, which would cut a little bit of distance. But not all of it. I think that's all for that turn. This turn. Unless we can... Nope. Oh, great. These guys are on the move. I mean, if they all go down that pipe, that's fine by me, because I'm going to be skipping that pipe. All right. I'm glad I'm able to move again. Ugh, I shouldn't get up close because of his technique, though. Not technique, his ability, his, uh, like, explosion thing. If I'm here... Um, because Blizzard Burst can hit me, I assume his final attack thingy can hit me as well. Pretty sure the Dukes and his thing have the same range, so we're just not going to worry about it. Alright, something I want to do. I think I'm going to do something fun. I'm going to do something a little snazzy. Um, first, it's okay. I'm not going to screw this up. I'm going to get Rabbit Peach over here. We're not going to use the healing thing. Wait, no, I did that wrong. No, wait, I'm doing that wrong. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I wasn't... No, I, I didn't do that right. I didn't do anything I just did right. I, did, I, did, I just did so many things wrong. Oh, my gosh. I'm so bad at this game. Um, can't... Yeah, Rabbit Mario is very much in range of that. All right, I think Rabbit Mario is just gonna have to take one for the team here. Uh, let's get a dash in because we can. And should we just use Peach's power up, thing? Rabbit Peach's power up thing? Uh, I don't know if. Oh, why not? I think it's fine. And then Luigi is just kind of stuck over here. So I mean, actually. 
could he attack the other Frosted Tony? I don't think so. Yeah, Frosted Tony's very... Yeah, I, I think he's too far away anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, just get Luigi, like, over here and attack him. There's no point getting behind cover. It's just Frosted Tonys and bob bombs. We'll probably activate Steely Stare, but I'm going to wait to see what else we can do first. I could do that. But I think I'd rather just attack Frosted Tony. And then is that going to be enough? That is going to be enough. Sorry, Rabbit Mario, but you got to take one for the team. I'm so sorry, my man. We know you can handle it. Okay. So we do not have a need for Steely Stare. We're just going to end the turn. Okay, those ball bombs are getting, they're getting kind of close. Not too much of a fan of that. I really like the implement, Im, Im, implementation of ball bombs and Goombas into this game. Um, I don't think it really matters that someone's appearing from over there. What is it? Probably just like a ball bomb? I don't know. It's not let me check. Fair enough. I mean, I too have a hard time. Oh my gosh, I'm so close to the pipe. I hit everything. I, too, have a hard time telling what people are when they're stuck in a dimensional rift. What can we... Okay, I want to... No, wait. Get like right here, Rabbit Beach. No, oh my gosh. I can do this. Show me Luigi's movement. Please, please show me Luigi's movement. It's fine. It should be just like this. Nope, not enough. No, I'm trying to maximize the distance. Tr trust me, I know what I'm doing here. We're about to find out the limits of a team jump. We cannot go over that thing. We can go around it, though. All right, we're so close. I think I'm just gonna stay all the way over here. I mean, frankly, I don't have much else I really wanna do this turn. I think I'm gonna bring Rabbit Mario up there to back up Luigi just in case something goes horribly wrong. But I'm just gonna have him punch these ball bombs. Maybe not while being that close to them. Oh my gosh, that's a chain reaction and a half. Uh, Rabbit Mario looks pretty safe. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Oh my gosh. I love him. Ooze? Uh, I still don't know what Ooze does. Let's try to find out by using it against that rough Frosted Tony. Hopefully it slows down his movement or something so he can't get to us. Uh, if we like... I don't think it says anywhere what he does. Is it just him left? Yeah, there's no bob or anything. It's just the one Frosted Tony. Oh, we're fine. We've got this. Uh, you don't have your movement. Wait, you do have your... Wait. Yeah, yeah, no, no. But he, he can't move over there is the thing. And, uh, I mean, I can hand attack that Frosted Tony, so why not? Dude, the range on that thing's broken. It's busted. And we're gonna heal in before the battle ends, because, like, why not? Just needs more health for the next battle at no real downside. Okay, that's long enough on this turn. Hello. Ow. He still has over a thousand health. It's a Frosted Tony. But he's a little far away. And a bob -omb. Did not know multiple enemies could appear from one rift. One rift. That is good to know. Doesn't really matter, though, because we have just absolutely dominated this battle. Battle cleared. Look at us. Look at us. That was a really fun battle. But the video is 50 minutes long. So, it is about time to wrap it up. I think it's a pretty good stopping point. Are we going to be entering the mountain next episode? What exactly is going to happen? Was that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, wait, we enter in there. Yeah, yeah. But we're not doing that just yet. Ooh, Cairo Bullet Join. That's good. Uh, for now, gamers, that, that has been this episode of Mario Plus Rabbit Sparks of Hope. Join us next episode where we enter the inside of the mountain. Make sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, eat your green vegetables.